We're back. It's time for another edition of Shelf Life Book Reviews Online, where we present to you a very highly recommended book. And the book this time out is Everything She Feared by Rick Muffina. This is published by Mira Books, and it retails for $24.99. Uh, this book is a, oh, it's over 400 pages. Uh, I started it uh, one morning, I finished it the next morning. It's that type of book that you have to keep reading. Uh, Rick Muffina has done an excellent job of uh, creating uh, characters who were unsure just whether they're good or bad. Now, the story revolves around a young girl. She's 17 years old. She's uh, Anna Shaw. And, um, She's a babysitter to um, Katie Harmon, um, uh, a young child. I think she's eight years old or nine, nine, I believe. And um, the two are out at the Sunny Days Youth Center. There's a day trip where 24 children um, have been bused there. And um, Katie and Anna are the last two getting off the bus. So Katie is at the edge of the cliff, and according to Katie, um, she was uh, Anna was going to take a selfie. So uh, Katie kept warning her, you know, don't back up, don't back up, you're getting too close to the edge. And uh, Anna fell off the cliff. Now she um, clung on to a branch um, several feet down that was basically saving her from falling into onto the rocks below. So she begged uh, Katie to go for help. Well, Katie Harmon runs to the rest of the people um, who are part of the group, the volunteers there, and the children. They run back to the cliff, but they find uh, Anna's body is at the bottom of the cliff. She's broken because uh, she fell and she died, of course. And so uh, the police come and they investigate it. Now, they did, did not find Anna's uh, cell phone that she supposedly was taking the selfies with. So what begins is a most complicated story. Uh, Katie's mother, Sarah, um, is unsure what really happened because several years ago, um, Katie um, was involved. There was a young boy uh, that drowned. The boy had been bu bullying her and uh, people didn't know for sure whether Katie was involved there. So we start wondering, is Katie a demon child, the bad seed? And uh, the authors do, uh, Rick Mafina does an amazing job of keeping us in the dark about this child. Like, what is she really like? Is she telling the truth? Because uh, Katie has a necklace that um, Anna had, and uh, Katie says that Anna gave it to her uh, the day that she died. So, but, uh, but the police, the investigators, the, the detectives who are relentless start wondering uh, did Katie kill Anna for the necklace? And so uh, the detectives keep coming back because they don't think everything is um, copacetic, so to speak, and they, they think Katie's hiding something. And when they talk to her mother, Sarah, they think the mother is hiding something as well, too, because there's just too many questions and not enough answers. But as we find out, the story also involves uh, a serial killing from many years ago. Uh, a woman and a man killed people, they buried the bodies, the bodies were never found. Now obviously we know this somehow fits into the plot and uh, it's definitely interesting how Rick Mafina, um, well, uh, interweaves it, that's the word I was looking for, interweaves it into the plot uh, because we find out that Sarah was adopted and um, her adoptive parents are really great to her, but her real parents, uh, we find out, possibly were not the best role models. And I won't say any more because that might give away the, the clues to the story and uh, how it all plays out. But let's just say, uh, as the book, um, as we get further into the book, uh, the puzzle is deeper and we have so many more questions and we start wondering whether Maybe Katie was the person who pushed her off the cliff, but the answers come by book's end and you will be, you'll take a deep breath as you read the last pages because it's definitely more than riveting. So uh, 
Fear not. If you're looking for a good book, Everything She Feared is definitely one you should add to your collection. It's, it's like I said, it's, I read it in barely more than a day, and it's over 400 pages because it's that riveting. So looking for a good book? This is the one. So let me know if you do buy the book and if you do agree with the review. So thank you for watching. I will be back again very soon with another great book. So until we meet again, stay safe, stay sane, stay in touch, and I will see you at the bookstore. Bye for now.